Hey, it's Bob Costas coming to you from the studios of MLB Network. And what I'm about to say, you all know much better than I do. From the very first day that someone yelled, kill the umpire, being a sports official has been an often thankless job. By definition, when you do your job perfectly, get everything right, that's when next to nobody notices. When you miss one once in a blue moon, that's when everybody wants to jump on you. And it's only gotten worse in recent years. The technology, the ability to look at things from every conceivable angle and now in high definition, added to the internet and all the radio talk shows which are increasingly vitriolic and all the shows on cable TV, a chance to recapitulate and check over and over and over again that which the sports official has to try to get right with the naked eye the very first time. And here's the most impressive thing, the overwhelming majority of the time, 90% plus when we get to the highest levels of college and the pros, you're right anyway on first glance. And that's the thing that has to be kept in mind, along with something else. The sports official, when we go down to the amateur level, talking about the people who work the little league games and the soccer games and the junior high and the high school games, they have to balance not only a knowledge of the rules and calling plays accurately, but balance that along with allowing the kids to have fun and sometimes using judgment that says, I'm not gonna call this exactly according to the letter of the rules. I'm gonna do what's right to move this game along and to give these kids a fair shot. It's a combination of knowledge and ability with some people skills that not everybody appreciates all the time. Through the years, I've always enjoyed visiting, not just with the players, but with the umpires and with the referees. And here at MLB Network last year, we brought together three of the best, all recently retired from their profession. Steve Palermo, Bruce Freming, and Don Denkinger, a guy who, as you know, was one of the very best umpires of his time, and yet, and this is the way it goes, is best remembered for the one significant call he missed in the 1985 World Series. All of them retain an excellent sense of perspective and, as you're about to hear, a great sense of humor about the job they did so well for so long. Let's begin the excerpt with Bruce Freming talking about a time he had to run Whitey Herzog from a game in St. Louis. Here it is. On a Wednesday afternoon in St. Louis, um, like, the, like the fifth or sixth pitch of the game, he's screaming at me on balls and strikes. And, and I look over and... And I said, you, you t you're talking to me. That's right. I said, you know, you're kidding. Ah, I'm not that. Beyond. I said, you're done. <laughs> this, this is not the end of the story. So he, he came out, didn't fuss much, came out, said, I'm ejected. I said, get out of here. Let's go. So he went. After the game, Jack Buck came in the dressing room. And Jack said, I was awfully quick. <laughs> <laughs> And I said, well, I said, I can't believe what he did. And he said, he said, they have a day off tomorrow, and he's on his way to Kansas City to bass are biting. <laughs> <laughs> so he got chased on purpose. <laughs> I was working Yankee uh, Stadium, and the game was kind of drawn out, and it got a little boring, and the pitcher was having trouble throwing strikes, and I'm behind the plate. And so Pinello's the hitter for the Yankees, and they throw a pitch in, and I said, strike one. And he turned around and looked at me, and he says, that's no strike. He said, where was the pitch at? And I said, Lou, don't you know you shouldn't end a sentence with a preposition? <laughs> and this hit Lou, you know, by surprise. And he looked down, and he pawed around in the dirt a little bit, got back in the batter's box, <clears throat> got ready for the next pitch. And just before the pitcher threw the ball, he turned around, time out, time out. Where was the pitch at? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> now that's grammatically correct. Yeah, yeah, that is. And so we just went on from there. Yeah, you can't end a sentence with a preposition. <laughs> <laughs> and whether it really first happened with Pinella and Denkinger or someplace else, that classic bit of business is now enshrined in umpire lore. One of the things that's always struck me about the best sports officials is how much they care about getting it right. Ed Hockley, one of the most prominent and most respected of the NFL officials a couple of years ago, happened to miss a call, as you all may remember, in a Chargers-Broncos game. That just tore him up, and he responded to every bit of mail he got, even the hate mail, saying, I can't tell you how sorry I am about missing that call. And yet he misses one 
once in a blue moon because he cares so much about the job he does, as do all of you. So my respect and my admiration goes to you along with one simple plea. For those of you who are baseball umpires, please, please call the high strike. Appearances, perhaps to the contrary, I'm middle aged now. A three and a half hour game puts a serious strain on me in ways I will not further explain. Let's move things along. Call the high strike. Thank you.